the satellite industry is booming. In coming years, companies like SpaceX and Amazon plan to launch 42,000 and 3,000 satellites into orbit, respectively. With an average lifespan of just five years, Starlink alone would need to launch around 23 satellites per day to maintain its network. However, it's what happens to these satellites after their service life that has scientists worried. Low Earth orbit satellites are designed to burn up in the atmosphere, but with only five years of research so far, stratospheric pollution is becoming a growing concern. Martin Ross, senior project engineer at the Aerospace Corporation, warns that unlike aviation, emissions produced by the space industry affect every layer of the atmosphere. A 2022 study revealed that black carbon released at high altitudes might have warming effects 500 times greater than the same amount released at ground level. This high altitude suit could disrupt weather patterns and accelerate ozone depletion. Additionally, the aluminium used in satellites reacts with oxygen to form aluminium oxide, a compound that can further contribute to ozone destruction. The intense heat generated during satellite re-entry also causes nitrogen atoms to recombine with oxygen, forming nitrogen dioxide, a molecule capable of degrading the ozone layer. In 2023, roughly 70% of the space industry's $285 billion in revenue came from satellites. The number is expected to grow significantly. Goldman Sachs projects the satellite industry will be worth $108 billion annually by 2035. Still, it's becoming increasingly clear that stronger regulation is needed to mitigate the environmental risks associated with burning decommissioned satellites.